check out this giant cool Sprite bottle. It tasted delicious. This is a Q-tip, just so you all know. I don't need some expensive lotion, come on. That looks weird. <laughs> YouTube land world as promised and requested I'm going to be doing a video about my skincare routine and what I do to my skin this video is I guess veered toward people with IBD sometimes the medicines can make you break out sometimes it can make your skin burn very easily etc etc I'm just gonna share with you the products that I use for my skincare routine there to begin I don't know so I'm going to start with my nightly routine. I shower at night. I always wash my face. I always wash off all the makeup that I have on my face. So I switch off every day between two products. The first product is the St. Ives Timeless Skin Apricot Scrub. It is said to visibly tone and firm your skin. So I guess, I don't know if it works that way, but it's great. It doesn't irritate your face and the key to getting a good face wash is one that has exfoliating beads or exfoliating apricotness. I switch off between this and I switch off between this, which is the Aveeno Positively, <laughs> Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. These microbeads are what is going to clear your makeup off of your skin. So rub it off really, really, really well and take your shower as normal. Then in order to get the rest of the makeup off my face, if there is any face makeup on my face, I will use these e.l.f. makeup remover pads and they're just, they make basically a cloth and it looks like a baby wipe pretty much. So I use that. And then I use this, which is, let me show you, it is the Almay little makeup remover pad. So sorry, I switched to my old camera because a four gigabyte memory card lasts like two minutes on my nice camera. So until I get a bigger memory card, I'm gonna be filming on this camera. Anyway, back to what I was saying. These Almay oil-free, get the oil-free ones because the oil ones get a big mess, but they're really good with waterproof makeup, but these I've had no problem removing waterproof makeup. Anyway, so they're just little pads and they just look like this and you use them for your eyes to get rid of any eye makeup and they're good. I use them more than once, so I think they're wonderful things to have. After I've done all that, sometimes, let's say maybe once a week, I like to use the Mint Julep Mask and this thing is timeless. I feel like everyone should use this. It just, it smells like mint and it's just this green stuff that you see and it's very minty and it dries on your face and it clears up any acne, any, any, anything. It clears up everything and it helps even out the color of your skin and it's wonderful. So you should definitely try this stuff. Next, after that, sometimes I will use an oil on my face and one that I've been loving recently is the Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil and this is just basically an oil. You just put it all over your face. You can put it on your neck anywhere on your body really it's good for anywhere on the body so oils are definitely good for that so I love this I also really love the L'Oreal Paris age perfect glow renewal and this stuff is amazing it makes your face glow in the morning and I just, just wish I could put it everywhere but this stuff is definitely great while I'm on the topic of oils for your whole body there are a lot of oils that are good for you but what I like is the coconut oil I get the pure coconut oil so it's kind of hard but it gets softer and it smells so good and you can put it all over your body and it's healing and moisturizing but not too moisturizing where you get all oily and greasy it just feels so amazing this stuff's also great as a deep conditioner for your hair if you didn't know there's tons of uses for this stuff so definitely check it out now that I've applied an oil on my face I do this if my face is getting dry or if I don't have a lot of acne if I do have acne I use a skin acne vanishing cream spot treatment and it basically just has benzoyl peroxide. This stuff has 10% benzoyl peroxide. You put it wherever you're having troubles. Along with the acne vanishing cream, I use an under eye circle thing. And this is Nip and Fab Dark Circle Fix. And it's just a lotion-y type stuff you put under your eyes and it helps you not have dark circles in the morning. And it works so, so, so well. Now, I go to sleep and I wake up in the morning and I feel all refreshed, but I still have this stuff on my face and I don't like that. So what I do is I get a cotton ball and I get witch hazel. Now witch hazel is found with the rubbing alcohol and all that stuff at your local drugstore and it's just this stuff, it smells 
horrible, but you get used to it. Yeah. But anyway, I just put some on a cotton swab and then I just wipe it all over my face. And this stuff is good for like everything. They use this for a ton of stuff. Definitely check out the multiple uses for witch hazel. Now, I know this isn't a makeup video, but I just wanted to go over what foundation I use for my face and what lotion I use for my face because this is what works for me. May not work for you, but it doesn't break me out. So in the morning, what I do is I put on this facial moisturizing lotion with SPF 15. It's the Target brand. It doesn't break me out and it works fine for me. I don't need some expensive lotion. Come on. Right now, I've been using two different foundations. Usually, I've been obsessed with the Revlon Photo Ready Finish Foundation. Love that stuff, but I've been branching out recently. If I want to go for something light, I will use the L'Oreal Skin Purifier BB Cream. Now, this stuff is so cool I have to show you how it works so put some on and as you can see it's a white white right as you blend it it changes color sorry for my ugly nail it changes color Ta da cool huh yeah totally doesn't match my hand but it matches my face I use this if I want something light. It just gives your face some color when you don't have a lot of acne or blemishes going on. If you want more of a full coverage foundation, definitely this stuff is really, really, really great. I'll show you what it looks like. This is the color Light Medium Honey. And also doesn't match my hand because the skin, this and that are pretty much the same. But that's what it looks like if you blend it in. It's a very thick consistency. So it's going to cover up a everything everything you possibly could need so I'm gonna wipe some of this on my arm or something that looks weird so these two are great this one's very light this one's very full let me know if you want me to do another face routine video with makeup and what I put on my face completely after I put these on my face I use the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I'm in the color Fairly Light and I just put this all around my face to set the liquid makeup and if you're interested in what I do for my makeup completely, my full face routine, just let me know because last time I made my video for people who have moon face from prednisone, I did a whole face with contouring, but my makeup routine has changed greatly. So if you're interested in that, please leave comments in the description and I'll get that to you. If I do do that video, I will put it on my new channel, which is Purple Musity. I'm going to be doing makeup videos and tag videos and other videos that have no relation to IVD. One thing I wanted to remind you is when you're on prednisone, you will get sunburnt very easily. So make sure to have some aloe vera very, very handy because this stuff will save you so much when you are struggling with sunburn because ow. Which brings me to another topic. Instead of tanning this summer, you might wanna try some self tanner. This is the Tarte Brazilian Tan. I will be doing a review on this on my Purple Moodsy channel during the summer if you are interested. So make sure to self tan this summer instead of sit in the sun, especially if you're on prednisone because you will burn and you will need lots of this. That is pretty much all for the video I have today. So I hope you're all doing well. If you have any requests, leave them in the comments and I will do those request videos and all that stuff. This may be my last or my second to last video with this background because I am moving as I said before so get excited because I'm going to be experimenting with new backgrounds and the new place that I will be living. So that's that and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!